Have you ever wanted to get into voice acting but thought your voice was better suited for silent movies? Well, today we're going to take a look at a couple effects and processes that might help with that. And in case you're wondering, we won't be using auto tune. So for me, my favorite genre, whether it's sound design, movies, video games, doesn't matter, uh, has always been the horror genre. And so this first vocal effect that we're going to take a look at is actually um, like a demon or monster type voice sound. And we actually achieve this simply uh, with a pitch shift. And uh, we're using the, the pitch two here in Pro Tools. And all we're doing is just shifting the vocals down an octave. So let's take a look at what that sounds like. I've not come here. To save your life, I've come here to eat your soul. And so this lets us actually do um, kind of a really cool voice without trying to kill our vocal cords. Because if you're killing your vocal cords, you're doing it wrong. So uh, you can put some other effects on here. You can change around the pitch. Um, maybe throw some some chorus or reverb, you know, depending on your creature. Um, but this is, you know, a good start for a monster voice. All right, so this next effect uh, is probably my absolute favorite effect uh, for as far as vocals go. And uh, it's actually more of a process than an effect because it's not something that you can do in real time without a bunch of latency. Uh, it's just it's a lot easier to do it in post. And that is the reverse reverb. So with reverse reverbs, uh, we're essentially doing exactly what the name says. Uh, we're going to take our dialogue track here and we're going to reverse it. And then we're going to apply the reverb to the reverse track. And then we're going to flip it again. So that way when we play it back, uh, you're actually hearing the reverb kind of fade in before the actual vocal track. And it kind of creates this eerie uh, kind of ghostly other dimension sound to the vocals. It's super creepy uh, when it's done with um, the recording of a small child, but you got me. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. I've already recorded a short dialogue line, so we'll just take a listen real quick. You can never leave. You'll be trapped here forever. So um, just a, it's super cheesy. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to take this, and you'll notice that we actually have this uh, this whole silent section in the beginning. And the reason that I left this silent section is because when we reverse it, uh, the silence is then going to be at the end. And it's going to give us some extra room to play with when we kind of smear it with the reverb. So we're going to take this entire, um, this entire dialogue section, and we're going to go ahead and reverse it with the audio suite. So, you know, then we end up with this. So, you know, whatever. And uh, now we're gonna go ahead and apply our reverb. Now, when we apply the reverb, what I like to do, uh, if this works best with like a long reverb to kind of draw it out as much as possible. So I'm actually just going to go with the, the default here, which is a large hall. Go ahead and see how this, this sounds. It, it'll still be reversed, but. So you kind of hear what the, the actual reverb sounds like. And you can play with a bunch of different reverbs to try and get uh, get it to sound the way that you want. Let's go ahead and render that to the track. And I will clip gain it just a little bit to bring the, the volume back up. And then we're going to, like I said, we're going to flip it again. So now, uh, even when you look at the waveform, you can see that 
uh, this the reverb fades in. And this is the effect that we get. You can never leave. You'll be trapped here. Forever. So you can hear that kind of has that ghostly sound to it. And like I said, you can play around with different reverbs. Uh, you can put different effects on it. Um, you know, like chorus and, and stuff to kind of really like tone it into to what you're working on. But uh, that's reverse reverb. All right, so for this last one, uh, I'm not sure that it has many uses unless you were doing some fan recreations. Uh, but I wanted to throw it in uh, because I think it's a great sound. And it's a sound, a vocal effect that was created uh, by sound designer Nicholas Briggs. And if you don't know who that is, uh, he is the voice of the Daleks uh, from Doctor Who. And it's a very, very precise voice. And it uses, he uses an actual pedal. Um, he just uses a microphone on set when he does it. Uh, but it's run through a ring mod. And uh, so I've got the ring mod set up here. And uh, I was playing around with it. And that's how I, I got the, the 30 hertz, I think, sounds best for the voice of the Dalek. But uh, let's go ahead and play around with that. You are the doctor. You are the enemy. You will be exterminated. Exterminate. 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 So there you guys have it. Um, just some vocal effects to play around with and hopefully help you get into the voice acting market. Uh, even though, you know, if you're like me and you don't really have that voice, that knack for voiceovers, um, there's still a whole lot that you guys can do. So thank you guys so much for hanging out and tuning in. Uh, typically each week I want to give away the sound effects that I create in each video. But since this week, uh, we were just went over, the actual effects themselves and we didn't really create anything that that you would probably be able to use inside another project I wanted to show you guys where I actually got some of the effects now this video is not sponsored by Melda Productions uh, this just simply is a free bundle that I found uh, while I was looking for some effects and uh, this bundle it's actually got I think it's 34 different effects in it um, you can use them for free. Uh, there are features that do get unlocked when uh, you pay for them, but you can definitely check them out for free. Uh, like I said, there's there's a ton of different effects in here. The M Auto Pitch uh, is is one that we had a little bit of fun with in this video, as well as the um, M Ring Modulator. That's the one that we use for the Daleks and. And so there's just a ton of stuff in here that you can play around with. I'll put the link in the description below. As always, if you guys have anything you'd like to see in these videos, please feel free to let me know in the comments section. Or you're more than welcome to get a hold of me on these social media channels. I am on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at The Sound Effects Guy. Until next time.